this patch is, uh, I guess it doesn't have a name. It's a CV recording patch. It's how to record CV with the ad pad from gates and pulses and capacitors. You can do this with an LFO too. Um, you know, actually the LFO is easier. You just directly connect it. Um, I believe the shafts too. But basically what we have here is um, I'm going to start us with just a nice kick pattern. And then what we have going is gates connected to either red is the capacitor or black is the pulse. They both work. And you can also go directly from the gate to the uh, to this method. So all this stuff takes you to the inverter. So what you do is you invert your signal and you clip the clip to the add button. It, I guess because the initial capacitance is different, it works out for some reason. And it, it, it might be offset by a cycle, but I don't, I don't know if it actually is. So anyway, I have two switches here, one for the pulse circuit and one for the capacitor circuit, the 0.01. So we'll start, let's see, and then we can record it. It won't record that, but and we're recorded. So then we go over, and you see it'll it'll pop sometimes. Sometimes it takes a little finagling, a little bit of like work. Sometimes it'll trigger immediately. I think it has to do with somewhere like with where in the cycle it is. Maybe if the gate's high or low when you initiate it, but you can see it clipped on. It responded a little, and then it. Uh, okay, something's wrong with one of my cables, but let's see if we can just, oh, let's remove this one, let's see if this one is here. Okay, 
I lost battery power. Anyway, I knew that was going to happen. So that's the basis of the patch. Uh, the pulse, I swear, works, but something's wrong with one of my cables, and it was working before I started, but hey. The basis of it is you take your gate or pulse or capacitant, capacitor signal, you invert it, and then the inverter, you don't need to clip it. You can touch it, but again, it's, it's a little tricky. Sometimes when you touch it, it'll trigger the whole time. Sometimes it'll trigger erratically. It's, it's not ideal, but it works, which is the really cool part. So it, it allows some really interesting rhythms to be made really quickly uh, that might be pretty hard to do by hand. Anyway, that's the patch, the inverse CV recorder.